Orlando had become a woman. There is no denying it. But in every other respect, Orlando remained precisely as he had been. The change of sex, though it altered their future, did nothing whatever to alter their identity. Hi there, and welcome to Attitude Magazine's Pride at Home. I'm Juno Dawson, and today I'm going to be doing a reading from Orlando by Virginia Woolf, which was first published in 1928. So this one goes out to all those people out there who think that being transgender or non-binary or gender non-conforming is something newfangled. We've always been here. We are therefore now left entirely alone in the room with the sleeping Orlando and the trumpeters. The trumpeters ranging themselves side by side in order blow one terrific blast. The truth! At which Orlando work. He stretched himself. He rose. He stood upright in complete nakedness before us. And while the trumpets pealed truth, 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 we have no choice left but confess. He was a woman. The sound of trumpets died away, and Orlando stood stark naked. No human being since the world began had ever looked more ravishing. His form combined in one the strength of a man and a woman's grace. As he stood there, the silver trumpets prolonged their note, as if reluctant to leave the lovely sight which their blast had called forth and chastity and purity and modesty, inspired no doubt by curiosity, peeped in at the door and threw a garment like a towel at the naked form, which, unfortunately, fell short by several inches. Orlando looked himself up and down in a long looking-glass, without showing any signs of discomposure, and went, presumably, to his bath. We may take advantage of this pause in the narrative to make certain statements. Orlando had become a woman. There is no denying it. But in every other respect, Orlando remained precisely as he had been. The change of sex, though it altered their future, did nothing whatever to alter their identity. Their faces remained, as their portraits prove, practically the same. His memory, but in future we must, for convention's sake, say her for his and she for he, her memory then went back through all the events of her past life without encountering any obstacles. Some slight haziness there may have been, as if a few dark drops had fallen into the clear pool of memory. Certain things had become a little dimmed, but that was all. The change seemed to have been accomplished painlessly and completely, and in such a way that Orlando herself showed no surprise at it. Many people, taking this into account and holding that a change of sex is against nature, have always been at great pains to prove, one, that Orlando had always been a woman, two, Orlando is at this moment a man. Let biologists and psychologists determine. It is enough for us to state the simple fact. Orlando was a man until the age of 30, when he became a woman and has remained so ever since. Wherever you are, however you are, and whoever you are, I hope you have a wonderful pride at home. Take care. Bye.